Hola, and welcome back, Masters and Princesses. If you don't know who I am, my name is Nitpick. I am a music educator and flutist. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Okay, so I got tons of requests to react to Bestie on my Patreon, but I just felt this was something I had to share with the community. It's funny because like I was waiting for the song to come out and I realized the song came out, but then I was like, oh, the music video is coming out. So I was like, I'm just going to wait for that. We're doing it. Music video, band made bestie. Also, I apologize. I am suffering from allergies. If you notice I'm coughing, just ignore me. I'm going to mute the track when I'm coughing. Also, if you can hear my voice, it sounds kind of funny. So anyway, if you like what you see on this channel today, please like and subscribe. And also, if you are interested in seeing some extra stuff, I have a link down in the description for, to my Patreon where I post blocked content that doesn't go on YouTube and it's free because it's partially blocked in countries or whatever. And then I also have some paid content. You can also join for free, but whatever. Let's jump right into this because, dude, Co-writing with Incubus? Hello? Let's go! <laughs> Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, immediately I'm gonna go back. So this is this is kind of funny because okay, I wouldn't say I'm the big. By the way, I have a cough drop in my mouth. I'm really sorry. I, I have to do it in order not to cough. So what is interesting so far? Like I've listened to Incubus a lot when I was younger. I haven't listened to any Incubus in a while. Usually it's like something that comes up in a nostalgia playlist when I'm like, I don't know, driving or traveling or whatever. Immediately from the beginning of the song, I was like, yeah, you can tell this is like co-written with Incubus. Like it immediately had that Incubus sound. Like, I don't know if anyone else has like heard the song. One of my favorite songs, and it's probably the like the most popular, um, and I remember it from a specific video game, Dave Mira's BMX, R.A.P. Dave Mira. But there's the song Be Quiet and Drive Far Away. The opening has similar chords and I was like, I can hear it. I can hear it. Also, wait a minute. <laughs> Singing in English? This is new. I've never, what? Like I've, oh, like occasionally they have a few English lines, right? This is kind of, I, I, well, maybe not the best word for it, but it's kind of refreshing. Like I like it when they sing in Japanese. I do love that. But as someone who just like, I, I mean, I don't listen to predominantly English music, but like a lot of the music I consume is in English. So this is kind of like a nice little change of pace because she, they're doing such a really good job of singing a language that they're not comfortable with, I would assume. I'm just, I'm, I'm really thrown off. I thought I was going to have some more Japanese text. I didn't read a lot about the song before I reacted to it, if you can tell. But I want to go back because this is, this is crazy. Any Incubus people out there, tell me you can't hear it. Like... Right here is where it starts to sound like Incubus to me. It just has that... You can hear it! You can hear that... Look at their outfits! It's crazy! Their outfits are 
so cute! I had to stop. I got that outfit, y'all. I love that outfit anyway. Also, they're not dressed as maids. I kind of like this. I like... I know that some people get sometimes get upset when their favorite band like starts to drift away from their norm. Obviously, that's not the I don't think that's the case here. I think they just did something. They did a collaboration and they decided to do something a little different. But it's so it's like a it's like drinking a new drink or having a small breath of fresh air in a different locale because that just seeing them in a different light. It's not a bad thing. I, I actually kind of like it. Like it's they look so there's something innocent about this and I love it. But I'm sorry. The baseline in this is. There's so much happening in that baseline. <laughs> Let's keep going. I want to wait for a second. The cinematography of this video, again, a little reminiscent of Incubus. I'm dying a little bit inside because the baseline is insane right now. Like this is not, again, no, no baseline is safe when Misa is playing. It's so funny because I, I know I haven't finished. I know I haven't finished. This is not your typical band made. And it, there's nothing wrong with it. I kind of like the fact that it's like we're taking a step out just to try something different. Ugh. I think my favorite. I can't choose who my favorite outfit is right now. I, I know Miku has like dyed her hair recently. She always has her hair dyed a certain color. But this dye job that she has right now is killer. And I would love to have this like blue with purple it's such a pretty color my girl brain is kicking in i love that bestie <laughs> okay right hold on like psyche's outfit is so cute but look at miku's sleeves Miku looks like a little angel. The background voice.
the uh, okay can we talk about that solo for a second also this is just gorgeous you guys gorgeous this whole this whole thing this is beautiful anyway <laughs> this is absolutely beautiful i want to go back where she's singing, I don't wanna be shy. What I loved about what we had in that solo is you can finally hear the lock-in of Incubus and Bandmade. It's like, we still have that Incubus background kind of style of music, but you can still hear that Misa is, you know, traveling around the bass, creating a moving bass line that is full of color and notes and added musicianship in there that's not maybe not as common in Incubus. We have a Kane guiding the you know, guiding the drum beat. It's it's simple. This is not typical of Akane's work. Okay? It's not typical. Which again, not a bad thing. It's okay to do something different. And then you can tell that they have layering of Miku's voice with Psyche's voice, possibly. I'm wondering if it's everyone. I have a feeling that all of these girls sing, like they all do. And I wouldn't be surprised if they added the layering of all of their voices in studio on top of Psyche's voice. So I love, I, oh, it's so gorgeous. Also, the two note solo that Konami was just doing, and then it gradually turned into more than two notes. The fact that you can make a two note solo sound cool for about a good four seconds, and then finally change it up, but it's still effective, is something to bask in. I don't wanna be shy, but I can't look, look at them, look at them, singing. They are! That's all of them. That has to be all of them. Because you can see them. Yeah. I guarantee you it's them in the studio. Two notes. Arpeggios. was not expecting that to end like that. Oh my gosh. Just one more time, please. It's just so, it's so pretty. The layering of their voices in this section to the end. I'm sorry, I want it one more time. Join me, please. Listen. Darkness is not 
man I was not expecting it to end this way that's so sick oh my god oh my god okay look when I first started my journey down bandmade and it's funny because like bandmade first reaction video I ever made I am still new like I'm a baby maid like everything else I've heard from band made has been you know really hardcore rock and in your face this is there's something about this that the concept like the idea of less is more there is there is less intricacies happening but because it's because of how they play and how they approach their music, it's still them. There's still the the essence of bandmade. Like obviously they wrote it together. Because I know that it was co-written with the creator of Incubus, I feel like if I listen to this without knowing about that. I think I would have been a little thrown off, but like in the way that I'm like, wow, this sounds like they're trying to take a new creative step, like in a different direction, which is not a bad thing. And because this, is, this isn't this is bad. Since I do know, I feel like I'm just like, oh, well, this is completely normal. They worked with somebody who creates this kind of style of music. They took it and ran with it. This is great. I love me some bestie. All right, besties. <laughs> so another great video down, another great song down, and especially with a collab with my fa one of my faves, Incubus. I loved this video. I thought it was great, musically wonderful. Everything was great about it. So anyway, if you'd like to continue the conversation about music, feel free to leave a comment down below and let me know what I miss. Let me know what you think you heard and what do you think I should go back and listen for. Again, like and subscribe if you really like the content. And again, feel free to click that link down in the description below to my Patreon. Again, feel free to join for free. It's mainly just in case something gets blocked on YouTube. That way I can share it there and anyone can see it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will catch you in the next Bandmade Sunday. Peace out. <laughs>